Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about gastroparesis. That's that long word that describes a complication of diabetes. Why am I qualified to talk about it? I'm an endocrinologist. I've had type 1 diabetes for 42 years and most importantly I have gastroparesis. Now what is gastroparesis? Remember that when you eat food it goes in your stomach and that's where it gets broken down into nutrients. None of those nutrients are absorbed and they don't raise your blood sugar until they actually leave the stomach into the small intestine. Now to leave the stomach there are muscles in your stomach wall and there's this peristaltic motion that pushes the nutrients out into the small intestine. Once the nutrients get there, they get absorbed and your blood sugar goes up. Now, every nerve in our body stimulates something. And these muscles in our stomach are stimulated by nerves. If you want to get exact about it, it's the vagus nerve. If you've had diabetes a long time, you might have neuropathy. Neuropathy just doesn't make your legs numb. It controls the muscles of our body. So when you have neuropathy, of your stomach, that's gastroparesis, and you eat food, it sits there, and it causes symptoms. What are the symptoms? Abdominal bloating, fullness, it, it's like food coma on Thanksgiving, when you've eaten too much food, you're sitting there in pain, but yet with gastroparesis, you don't have to eat that much food to feel like that. Now, how do we treat it? For mild to moderate cases, we do lifestyle modification, like do not overeat. Because it doesn't, it doesn't go all out at once. Everything's sort of on a really somewhere in between a gradient of really severe to just mild issues. And if you don't overeat, it typically doesn't uh, cause any issues. And that's why I take Simlin. I don't overeat and my symptoms are better. Now, for people in the middle who it really bothers them but not super severe, we have oral medications. In the United States, we have Reglan. It, it has side effects that I don't like, so I don't usually prescribe it. There's a drug that you can get in Canada called Domperidone. Works great, very little side effects. The reason why it's not in the States, it's already a generic drug, and it's too costly to get it approved by a U.S. drug company. So basically, I write my patients a prescription, they get it in Canada. Now, for those that have really bad, bad, bad gastroparesis, there's a device made by Medtronic, which is a nerve stimulator that stimulates those nerves to cause peristaltic motion to get the food out of the stomach. And lastly, what I wanted to say is gastroparesis is not just a complication of diabetes. It really meshes up your blood sugar control. You can imagine if the food goes in your stomach, it's not being absorbed, and you've taken insulin before a meal, guess what happens? Your blood sugar can drop right after eating a big meal. And you go, what's going on here? It, that's because the food's still sitting in your stomach, it's not further down your GI tract. And then later on, when the food finally kind of falls out of your stomach, your blood sugars start to shoot up. So it does create havoc. And so I think it's really important to realize that if you've had type 1 diabetes over 10 years, or many of those folks with type 2 may have gastroparesis, and if you have any of those symptoms, abdominal bloating, fullness, talk to your caregiver about it. Okay, nation. There you have it on gastroparesis. TCOYD is a 501c3 not-for-profit organization that has been educating and motivating diabetes communities in cities around the country since 1995.